The Miami Hurricanes will host the Virginia Tech Hokies in a Friday night game. Miami is a three-score favorite. Does anybody want to step in front of this Hurricanes team right now? We're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. For a limited time, you can get 90 days, all sports, all access for the regular price of $8.49, and we'll throw in 30 days absolutely free. It's the best time of year to take advantage of this deal because it'll get you the rest of the college football and NFL. It'll also get you the first half of NBA, college hoops, NHL, the rest of the baseball. And with guys like myself, you even get CFL and soccer. This is available for your favorite handicappers at wagertalk.com. Just check out their cappers page. And if your favorite handicapper at wagertalk.com isn't this guy right here, you hit me up in the comments below and let me know what I got to do to change your mind. Now let's get into the free pick. Miami is a 19-point favorite. The total's sitting at 55 and a half. Money is coming in on the Hurricanes. This line opened at 17. It's been bet up to 19. I see 19 and a halfs on the board. I expect it to climb even higher. And that's for good reason. This Miami team has really lived up to all expectations. Um, so, you know, if you like Miami, you've missed the best number. And uh, you're looking at a guy that does like Miami. You'll see my, my futures card that went out to clients. is in the ticker below. You can see there that I have Miami winning the ACC, Miami making the playoffs. And uh, that futures card's looking pretty good just four weeks into the season and a long way to go, but uh, happy with where we're we're standing with that futures card. But Miami coming off of a 50 to 15 win on the road at South Florida. That looked like a tricky game, a non-conference road game ahead of their ACC opener. Uh, you would have thought South Florida might give them some trouble, but uh, they blew the doors off in that game. And uh, they're hosting a Virginia Tech team that's underachieved. A lot of people thought Virginia Tech would be a dark horse in the ACC. They were bringing back all their starters from last year. They had high expectations for quarterback Kyron Drones, but so far he's been kind of underwhelming. He's thrown for 765 yards, four touchdowns, and three picks on under 60% passing. He's been sacked eight times. I'm sure he's going to add to that sack total here against Miami. You can expect him to be under pressure. This Hurricanes defensive line is getting it done. You don't really see too many weaknesses in this Miami team. They're throwing the ball for 400 yards per game. They're running the ball for 200 yards per game. Uh, Miami right now is 18 to 1 to win it all. I still think there's some decent value there. I, I think they're certainly one of the top five teams in the country right now. Uh, the, the new line to win the ACC is plus 125. They're a minus 200 favorite to make the playoffs. And right now, as we speak, Cam Ward is the favorite to win the Heisman. So. It's understandable that everybody wants to get in on uh, betting on Miami here. So we went, we've missed the number. I don't want to lay the 19 or 20 and uh, be vulnerable to a backdoor cover if uh, Virginia Tech scores late. Um, I'm going to look at the first half. I think Miami is going to put points on the board in a home game at night in their ACC opener. So my eye is on the first half team total over 19 and a half. You look at their uh, four games this year, they scored 24 on the road at Florida in the first half, 25 at home to Florida A&M in the next game, 31 against Ball State in the first half, and 22 last week versus South Florida. I think at home versus the Hokies, they get to that 20 or 21 points. They go over that number. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you've got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, Hit me up in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I